smartlocal.com Hi guys, today I'll be doing a time capsule for my future self. So a time capsule, you might already have it at home, is where you store all your old pictures, your love letters, your report cards from primary school or secondary school. And today I'm going to find some of my precious memories, put them in a the box and open it up in the future. So the first one is actually a letter that I've written to my future self. What you can do to make it a bit more fun is to do a contract basis. So you write down things that you want your future self to do and then have your mom or dad or your sibling sign it. A few years down the road, open it up. If you haven't completed it, you'll have to pay your parents money. So I'm just going to read one line from my personal journal. It says here, 2017 was a pretty chill year and it was a challenge in terms of Learning that plans will change and trusting that things will happen in due time. So I hope that you have learned that by now. Yeah, alright, so now I'm just going to put this letter into the box. The next one I want to include in the box is actually someone that has been with me for 14 years. And she's my little puppy. Although she's a lot ama now. She's 14 years old. Her name is Cookie and she's a miniature Chanelzer. Super cute. I had to chase around the house so I could get her paw print on this like little clay. My favorite memory of Cookie um, all the time is she's always running in her sleep. She's always running or dancing in her sleep, which is very, very cute. So the next memory that I want to put into the box is this Holga camera that I actually got from Taobao and it works like a charm. I tried it, tested it, I went to Vietnam Muene and I took some photos, it came out pretty good. And I used this to shoot an outing with my family, we went kite flying, and the lighting was perfect, the day was perfect, I hope the pictures will be pretty good too. So I can't wait to develop it when it's time to. It's a dream catcher, a DIY dream catcher that I got from Typo. But there's something about this that makes me feel very empowered to go for my dreams. I'm very hopeful when I look at it. I don't know why. I just feel very, very connected with this. And I love the way it looks. The colours are just pretty. And yeah, I can go on and on. But I'm just going to put it into the box. Because when I open it up, I want to feel exactly the same way. The next item that I want to include into the box is this fun travel memory that I made a scrapbook out of. It was actually a trip, my first diving trip overseas. And it was to Adilao in the Philippines. I collected like the bus tickets and it was a very memorable trip because I went to meet my friends and there was this one time when I was diving my flippers just decided to leave me and it sunk to the seabed and I was like I had to tap my instructor to be like Okay, then she started laughing she went down and had to wear my flippers underwater it was quite a cool experience so funny but yeah very memorable so the next item I want to include in the box is actually this little handmade pouch that my boyfriend got for me. Uh, he got this in Vietnam. It's very memorable because he always challenges me to improve myself and also push my limits. Do it! Just do it! Like going to trips by myself. When I was younger, I always think like, oh, it'd be nice if I can drive. He challenges me to go and take a license. Same for my diving. So all the memories are kept inside here. For those of you who don't know, I don't work full time in the office. So I actually freelance. I do a lot of shows outside as well. And this was the first time I ever attended a classical concert. I was doing the day one, which is a children's concert at Victoria Theatre. Oh my gosh, it was a beautiful experience. And working with the international musicians was really quite a treat. I just recently invested myself to upgrade my skills. And I got an embroidery machine. My skills are not very good. I just want to remember this because in the future, when I open up the box again, I want to remember how far I've grown. Zero skills to hopefully a pro next time. And this is going into the box. Alright, go in, go in. Next. Alright, so we saved the best for the last. It is actually this pretty smart video made it to number one. We are number one. On the Smart Local TV channel, and I'm so so proud. I'm so proud and thankful for the crew. They work very hard, lah. Then we also work very hard to look for all these things, you know. But we know you like it, so we thank you so so much 
for your support, for liking, for commenting, for watching, just being around all this time. And hopefully in future, when I open it, Pretty Smart will be top one and top two. So this was my personal time capsule. And next, I want to show you the Pretty Smart time capsule. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pretty Smart. My name is Cheryl Kajim and for this episode, we are going to travel back in time. These are the things we used on set. This is where we filmed Pretty Smart and the crew that I work with. We filmed this episode on 13th of June 2017. And this is Pretty Smart. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys try all these time capsules yourselves. But before we go, make sure you catch other Pretty Smart episodes right here and here. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe! Till then, take heart, be kind and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!